So the second thing that I found about these, these uh, organizations having treat leaders and deep work cultures is they have tremendous positivity. Uh, this is a story of a man who was rejected for jobs over 30 times in his career. He failed three times in examinations to get into universities for further studies. He was rejected for a job with the police, went for a job at KFC where 24 people had applied, 23 were selected and only he was rejected, applied to Harvard for 10 times but was rejected. He and his cousin waited for two hours in a long queue to be uh, a waiter in a four-star hotel. Even his cousin's scores was much lower than his. His cousin was accepted and he was rejected. So he finally took over, took a job of an English translator and said, okay, he was a graduate in English. So if nothing works, I'll take up a small job. In. This man started a company called as Alibaba. And this is a story of Jack Ma. And today he is the wealthiest person in China and Alibaba is one of the largest retailers in the world with a revenue of $39 billion. In 2018, Alibaba's market value stood at $542 billion US dollars, which is more than the Amazons of the world and, uh, and giving them a tough competition. And this is his famous quote, if you don't give up, you still have a chance. Giving up is the greatest failure. So what, we've, what I found in, in such organizations which have these kind of leaders, they have these four qualities. They are always hopeful. They are always, what is hopefulness? No matter what happens, you are always persevering to, to get your work done, to keep on trying at work staying positive and expecting that good things will happen to to you and your work and organizations failures will happen we learn from them and move on so uh, failing is okay but quitting is not okay and finally they are always confident they never doubt their own uh, capability so, so, so these are uh, places, organizations, and this is again a quote of a scientist I came across. And he talks about his leader who was supervising him in the R&D organization. And he says, he was a wonderful scientist, soft spoken, spoken person. He never, we never feared him. He never ordered us to do anything. When he used to request us to do something, it became very difficult for us to refuse it. He was a hard worker, he used to work till 12 in the night and at times we used to meet failures but he was never hopeless, he never blamed anyone. So there is a tremendous sense of positivity that, that comes when we have such kind of leaders.